SpaceX is continuing the trend of making upgrades to the Starship in 2023. The company has just unveiled the latest designs for the transport, which now comes equipped with a new 250-ton expendable booster. Let's take a closer look at this new booster and how it'll allow the Starship to become a more versatile craft for the imminent mission to Mars. The future of space travel has arrived, and it's called SpaceX Starship. This incredible machine is set to revolutionize the way we explore the final frontier. SpaceX was founded by Elon Musk in 2002 with the goal of reducing the cost of space transportation and making space accessible to everyone. Over the years, SpaceX has achieved many milestones, including becoming the first privately funded company to send a spacecraft to the International Space Station and the first company to reuse a rocket. With the Starship program, SpaceX is taking its vision one step further. The Starship is the next step in SpaceX's journey to make space travel a reality for everyone. The spacecraft has been designed from the ground up to make space travel affordable and accessible to all. The Starship is the key to unlocking the final frontier and making space travel a common occurrence. The Starship is a reusable spacecraft that has been designed to carry both cargo and people to the moon, Mars, and beyond. The spacecraft is made up of two main components, the Super Heavy Rocket Booster and the Starship spacecraft. The Super Heavy Rocket Booster is responsible for providing the initial thrust to escape Earth's gravity, and then the Starship takes over to carry out the rest of the mission. The ship is designed to be reusable fully, which means that it can be used multiple times, reducing the cost of space travel significantly. This makes it possible for us to explore the final frontier like never before. While Starship is a new concept, this has not stopped SpaceX from making constant upgrades to its design. Over the years, with many performance and safety-based additions, the new Starship is perhaps the most anticipated deep space transport in the world. Recently, the company made significant upgrades to the Raptor engines that power the craft. In recent months, SpaceX has used two variants of the engine, with the newer one dubbed Raptor 2. The company states Raptor 2 includes a large number of performance and reliability improvements over the previous iteration. The Raptor engine is a full-flow stage combustion cycle engine that runs on super-chilled liquid oxygen and super-chilled liquid methane, both of which will power SpaceX's next-generation vehicle, Starship. The Raptor engine benefits from the highly advantageous FFSCC cycle, maximizing the impulse generated by a given amount of propellant. It is the third FFSCC engine to ever be developed and the first to leave the test stand. The first stage of Starship, called Super Heavy, will be jam-packed with 33 Raptor engines, 20 non-gimbling Raptor engines in the outermost ring, 10 gimbling engines in the middle ring, and 3 gimbling central engines in the innermost ring. This number is expected to decrease in the future as SpaceX further upgrades Raptor. The Starship currently hosts six total engines, three vacuum-optimized non-gimbling engines, and three sea-level gimbling engines. As research and development continues on the Starship, the latest news from SpaceX is that a new prototype for the vehicle has successfully undergone a static fire test of its engines ahead of its first planned orbital test flight. SpaceX fired seven engines on its Starship Super Heavy prototype Booster 7 on September 19th, marking the highest number of the company's new Raptor engines ever tested at the same time. Apart from upgrades to the Raptor engine, SpaceX has also made massive improvements to the Starship's booster. Once optimized, SpaceX says that Starship can launch up to 150 tons to low Earth orbit while still recovering the orbital ship and suborbital booster for reuse. CEO Elon Musk has stated that Starship reuse will eventually take hours, enabling multiple flights per day for each ship and booster and dropping the marginal cost of each launch to just a few million dollars. In comparison, SpaceX's workhorse Falcon 9 rocket uses simpler Merlin 1D engines, has just 10 of those engines the Starship's 39 Raptors, produces about 10 times less thrust at liftoff, and can launch about 11% as much payload to orbit while expending its upper stage. Even then, Musk reported in mid-2020 that the marginal cost of a Falcon 9 launch was $15 million, impressively low, but still a vivid demonstration of just how far Starship has to go. Simply ensuring that Starship can reach orbit at all is a major challenge. Successfully recovering Starship and Super Heavy after the fact may be an even bigger challenge and cannot be fully demonstrated until the rocket can consistently reach orbit. SpaceX won't be able to reuse Starship until it can consistently recover ships and boosters from orbital launches. And there's no guarantee that early prototypes will be reusable, even if they're recovered. 
Until reusability is demonstrated, every Starship upper stage will be functionally expendable whether or not Elon Musk wants it to be. Musk likely means that SpaceX may or may not decide to develop a Starship upper stage custom-built for expendable missions. Such a stage will likely take Starship, remove everything extraneous, and reduce its mass as much as possible. Musk has proposed something similar before, noting that SpaceX could develop a lightened version of Starship with no heat shield or fins or legs for expendable interplanetary launches. Further to the contrary, SpaceX's Starbase factory is already building multiple intentionally expendable Starships. Ship 26 and Ship 27 feature no thermal protection, have no heat shield tiles, and will not be fitted with flaps, making them impossible to recover or reuse. More likely than not, they will be used to test other crucial Starship technologies like orbital refilling and cryogenic fluid management. Meanwhile, SpaceX's multi-billion dollar contract to use Starship to return NASA astronauts to the moon revolves around a depot ship variant that will store propellant in orbit and cannot return to Earth. The first few Starship moon landers may also be functionally expendable and only used for one astronaut landing apiece. In short, SpaceX already has extensive plans to build variants of Starship that are either fully expendable or can only be reused in orbit. In early 2023, SpaceX revealed that an expendable version of the rocket will be able to launch up to 250 metric tons to low Earth orbit in a single launch. Saturn V, the next most capable expendable rocket, could launch up to 118 tons to LEO and cost $1 to $2 billion per launch. SpaceX publicly advertising the expendable performance of Starship unsurprisingly confirms that the company is considering all the capabilities its new launch system will offer. And Starship's expendable capabilities are significant. Constructed piece by piece over dozens of launches, the International Space Station weighs about 420 tons. Two expendable Starships could launch more usable mass to LEO. Truly revolutionary if SpaceX can make Starship launches frequent and routine. While the Starship remains the focus for SpaceX, the company has also recently made some upgrades to its Falcon 9 rocket. Scientists are speculating that many of these upgrades could eventually carry over to the Starship in the near future. One major focus of the upgrade is increasing the rocket's payload capacity, allowing it to transport more cargo or humans into space at a time. Another area of improvement is in the rocket's propulsion system. SpaceX is experimenting with using advanced engines and fuel, such as methane and oxygen, to increase the rocket's power and efficiency. The upgraded rocket will also feature a sleek new design with a streamlined shape and advanced heat shielding to withstand the intense temperatures of re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. In addition to these technical improvements, SpaceX is also working on making the rocket more cost-effective to produce and operate. The upgraded rocket will also have the capability to fly a wider range of missions from satellite launches and cargo deliveries to human spaceflight and interplanetary travel. This versatility will make it a valuable asset for a variety of customers, including government agencies and private companies. In addition to its technical advancements, the upgraded rocket will also feature new safety features to ensure the safety of the crew and cargo on board. This includes upgraded systems for communication, navigation and emergency response, as well as improved reliability and redundancy to reduce the risk of failure. To prepare for Starship's maiden orbital flight, SpaceX has been conducting static fire tests with increasing intensity in which one or more engines are ignited while the vehicle remains stationary on the ground. A static fire test is a rough equivalent of revving a car engine in neutral, with this particular one lasting around 10 seconds. SpaceX is still awaiting a launch license from the FAA for the first orbital test flight of Starship. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which looks into SpaceX's latest Starship factory that cost $7 billion. Do you think the Starship needs more upgrades before it is ready for a flight? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.